fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. Whenever men gathered around the campfire in the early days of the western United States, stories were told of the masked rider of the plains. And those stories have come down to us through the generations. No one could match the strength and courage, the daring and resourcefulness, which made him the greatest champion of justice the frontier ever knew. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Red Run! Tom is fighting on the trail ahead! Hi, old Silver! Away! Still around here, I seen him. He sure got his nerve. Shoot him on sight. Get that crook. Kill him. Kill him. Come on, kill him. Oh, Silver. Oh, what? Oh. What's the matter? That's what I'd like to know. I stopped at a ranch house for supplies and was fired at. Everywhere I was seen, horsemen took after me. Keep strange. We haven't been in this district for over two years. Uh. There's something that requires explanation. Tonto, uh. get the material from your saddlebag. I'm putting on a disguise and getting to the bottom of this. In the sheriff's office at Red Run, the grizzled lawman stared grimly at the sober-faced group of men standing before him. Boys! I've deputized you fellas because you're the hardest riding, straightest shooting hombres in the county. I want that fella caught, you hear me? And if you fellas can't do it, then nobody can. Any idea where he's hit out, Sheriff? None at all. That's for you to find out for yourselves. Right. He's likely in the hills. Then get him. All right, you've been sworn in, you got your badges. What are you waiting for? We're on our way, Sheriff. We'll scatter out and search this county from end to end. We'll get him, too. See that you do. That killer ain't found. I won't hold office past the first of the month. Blasted low down. Sheriff. Oh, howdy. I'd like to talk with you. Sorry, stranger, I ain't got the time. There's a killer loose in the county, and before I can do anything else, he's got to be caught. I'm just going down to the cafe to see if there was any more fellas on hand I could deputize. One moment. But I tell That's you that... That's just I... what I wanted to see you about. I ain't met you before. 
What do you know about this? Well, I'll tell you that when you give me the information I want. Huh? You're evidently after a masked man. A masked man riding a white horse. I see. What's he done? Well, if you don't even know that, how can you tell me anything about it? Answer my question. Well, he's done enough. Held up the Riverside stage, stole 5,000 in dust, and killed the fellow riding the shotgun. A week later, he held up and killed young Dusty Thompson, a Pony Express rider. And not over three days ago, he killed Lem Sims and stole his cattle money. There, if that... Wait. If you're so anxious to get the facts, there's a fellow outside can give them to you. Oh, come in here, will you? Want me, Sam? Step in. Stranger wants the facts about the killer. Says he can tell us something. Stranger, this is Pope Kincaid. He's seen the killer twice. You bet I have, mister. And both times it was right after one of his holdups. Did you get a good look at him? Well, it, it was at night and pretty dark. You wouldn't be able to recognize him again, huh? Well, I'd sure know if I seen him with that mask and horse, if that's what you mean. But well, if I was to meet up with him again without either one, I, I don't reckon I would. Where did the holdups occur? When Dusty and the guard on the stage was both killed just the other side of Wolf Creek. It was right after them killings I seen him. And Lem? Was killed passing that tank he put up last fall to hold the spring reins for his stock. He was found beside it the next morning. And you have no clues to his identity? Just one. Yes? He's bound to be somebody acquainted around here. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been likely to know the three fellas he held up and killed was carrying cash worth stealing. Oh. That's everything. Now, what can you tell us? Oh, I haven't heard it, Sheriff. Howdy, Pope. Afternoon, Frank. Well, howdy. Now, look, fellas, I got to be on my way. You ain't here for nothing that won't keep, are you, Frank? Sheriff, I... you hold on. Well, what is it? I want protection. Huh? Protection? Protection for what? That mass killer. He threatened you? Nope. Then why well, do you wait, want... Sheriff. We'll finish. I got to ride over to Granite Falls tonight with a payment to the bank there. And don't tell me to wait and take the stage tomorrow, because I can't wait. This cash has to reach there for morning. Now, how can you fix it so as I'll feel halfway safe from that blasted mask man? Well, what do you want? A guard to ride along. Frank, I can't do it. You got to. How in thunder can I? Every deputy I got and everybody else I get besides is out searching the country for that crook. I can't go. Of course, if I did and something happened here while I was gone, there'd be the devil to pay. Well, then what am I to do? I don't know, unless you can hire somebody to ride along. Or change your mind and stay over till tomorrow. I can't, I told you. Well, I shouldn't I... think he'd dare to strike with lawmen everywhere. Shucks, no. Likely we won't hear nothing more of him until the excitement dies down. Uh, it's easy for you to say that, Poke. You ain't the one has to run the risk. Well, Frank, I can't suggest but one thing. Yeah? I was just heading for the cafe. Thought maybe I could find some more good hands with a gun. Maybe there'll be somebody I can send with you. I don't want just anybody for a guard. I got too much cash to carry to risk it with anybody I ain't certain of. Yeah, how much? Three thousand in folded money. To pay for that land to join in mine. Fellow owns it's leaving first thing in the morning, and if I don't get the cash to him before then, the deal's off. Three thousand? That's quite a sum. Yeah, more than I'd care to lose. I'll be getting on. Hey, you said you had information for me. I have. What? Last night and this morning, a masked man riding a white horse was seen in this district. The killer? No. That's what I wanted to tell you. Well, if he ain't, then who is he? Look at the bullet I left on your desk. Perhaps that'll tell you. Bullet? What bullet? You must have meant this one here. Here, let me see it. Here, hand it over. Well, well I'll What's be... the matter, Sheriff? This here bullet is made of silver. But who would... And the only hombre I ever heard use bullets like that is the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? That stranger, where'd he go? I want him back here. I'll silver away! Leaping hop toads. And he was here. Right here in my office. That night, the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, rode slowly across the prairie, paralleling the trail that led from Red Run to Granite Falls. We'll keep this distance, Kimosabe. Him not hear us. And we're not so close that the killer wouldn't know we're around if he holds up Frank. Ah. The news was all over town that he was riding to Granite Falls with the money tonight. And the sheriff's correct, and the killer is a local man, and he must have heard the news. Not right. But he may make an attempt for the money. Maybe. Especially since Frank failed to get anyone to ride with him. I have an idea that most of the men in town were afraid to go along. They just as soon give the killer a wide berth. How far Granite Falls? From here? Ah. Well, Wolf Creek is still about two miles ahead. And Pope Kincaid's place is just beyond Wolf Creek. 
I'd say Granite Falls is another 20 miles. And maybe they're... Shots. They're trouble. From the direction of the trail. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Hurry, old fellow. Hurry. Urged on by the masked man, Silver leaped forward, neck outstretched. Behind him followed Scout, Tonto's powerful paint. And together the two great horses raced toward the sound of firing. As they approached the trail, however, only one mounted figure could be seen. Come on, Tonto! Get him up, Tonto! Hi there! Hurry, boy! Tonto, that's Frank Mason! Uh, Alone! Who fired shot? We'll see! Get after him! He stole my cash! Get him! Get the crook! Oh, oh, so oh, Scott. Oh, 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 Scott! Which way did he go? Towards Wolf Creek. He heard you coming and got scared off it. Hey, your mask. We're not outlaws. You call that horse silver. You're the hombre who was in the sheriff's office this afternoon. You're the lone ranger. You say he got your money. He was getting set to drill me. Those shots we heard. Well, they must just have stopped me. Then come on, Tano. We'll follow. Uh, come on. What place? Firing again. Uh, 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 the cats run into somebody else. Come on, Silver. Get up there, boy. Get, Get up, up. Scout. Heading for Wolf Creek and the sounds of fighting that came from that direction, the Lone Ranger again took the lead. He was the first to set a man lying on the creek bank at the feet of a dripping horse. Someone's been hurt. That looks to be folks, Mayor. The killer's disappeared again. Oh, Silver. So oh, boy. Oh, oh. Oh. What's happened here? Oh, he got away from me. You've been shot. Oh, don't, don't mind me. Get after that sidewinder. He, he followed along the creek there. Right on, Tonto. Don't try to get too close to him. Just see if you can pick up his trail. Uh, I'll look after Pope's wound. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Oh, oh it ain't a bad one, but it sure hurts to beat blazes. Oh, do you happen to get you, Poke? I heard firing from my place. I, I got aboard my horse there and cut across the creek to see what was going on and, and run right slap bang into the fella. Now, hold still. I better tear the sleeve of your shirt away. Yeah. Go ahead, I can stand it. How's it look? It's nothing serious. Just a flesh wound. You'll have nothing worse than a stiff shoulder for a few days. Good enough. Gosh, you could have been number four for that critter. I warrant the shot bothered me so much that was just lucky when he got in when he was heading through that brush over there. But before that, he fetched me a good one over the head. That's what knocked me out of the saddle. Well, we'll wash the wound out a bit and you'll be as good as new again. It almost stopped bleeding already. I wish I could be fixed up as easy. He didn't drill me, but doggone, he sure left me as broke as a fella can be. But when Tonto returns, perhaps we'll find a way to get your money back again. On his return, however, Tonto's report was discouraging. Oh, Scout! Oh! Oh, Scout! Oh. What did you find, Tonto? Outlaw! Pretty clever. Yes? Me not find trail. Well, likely what he done was ride down the middle of the creek to cover his tracks. He could ride for miles that way if he wanted to and come up on the bank most anywhere. We'll have another look for daylight. Think you can make it home all right now, Pope? <laughs> oh, sure. I, I'm a pretty tough hombre to lick, mister. I'll give you a hand to your saddle. Oh, thanks. Well, adios, fellas. Adios, Pope. Get up there. Come on, get up. Frank, you'd better get back to town and report this to the sheriff. You just bid, I will. Here, Silver. And you can deliver a message for me. Yeah? Yep. Uh, Tell the sheriff the masked outlaw has killed his last man. Huh? Come Did on, Tonto. Get him up, Silver. Listen. That's a fine thing. Tell me something like that to get my curiosity up and then just ride off. <laughs> But gosh, ain't I glad I ain't in that killer's boots. Get up, boy. Get up there. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The following morning, when the scene of the holdup could be examined by the light of day, the Lone Ranger and Tonto once more sought for the killer's trail. When they had completed their search, they made certain inquiries throughout the district. These were not finished until late in the day when the masked man turned Silver's head back toward camp. We found out all that we can, Tonto. Uh, in the first place, it's clear that whoever the killer is, he left no trail leading from the creek. We look all over, not find him. In the second place, both Coke and Frank Mason say that the masked killer rode an unusually powerful white horse. Not right. Well, if there's such a horse in the district, nobody we've spoken to has heard of it. Maybe him hide him. That isn't the explanation. What you think? Everything we've learned fits in with the theory I formed last night. Huh? And if I haven't made a mistake, the killer has just about reached the end of his trail. And what do now? Return to camp and rest the horses. Uh-huh. Then when it's dark again, call on the sheriff. Uh-huh. And for the sheriff, Seth Duncan, Red Run's banker. <laughs> The masked man followed the plan he had outlined to Tonto. Late that night, at an hour when he was safe from observation, he roused the sheriff and spoke with him briefly. The sheriff dressed, saddled, and accompanied the masked man to the home of Seth Duncan. They chose a roundabout way and... There's Seth's place. This is close enough. Who, Silver? Oh, 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 oh. We leave the horses here and go the rest of the way on foot. We don't want it known that Seth had callers tonight. Yeah, that's the back door. Can they hear us from there? Sure. That old codger could hear a panther if it was fool enough to try sneaking up on him. He lives alone? We won't be awakening anyone else? No, nope, he's alone. Watch out for them steps in front of you. That's his room overhead. No knock. Hmm. He seems to be sleeping right good. Try again. If I make too much noise, we'll arouse his neighbors. <laughs> yeah, maybe they'll think we... Who's there? Speak up. Who's down there this time of night? Says we... Hey, quit aiming that doggone shotgun down here. Can't you see who it is? It's me, Pete Davis, the sheriff. Uh, who's that with you? Uh, never you mind. Just come down here and open the door. Uh, fine time of night to be gallivanting around. We ain't gallivanting. And what time it is don't make no difference. If you don't get a move on you, I'll be jailing you for obstructing the law. Now get into your slippers and hustle down here. Pete Davis, you ain't the law. You're a pesky nook. <laughs> I fetched him. Angry, huh? Him angry? Friend, the more old Seth growls, the less you got to worry. But when he starts smiling and purring, then look out. <laughs> The three men talked for 15 minutes. Then the Lone Ranger started back to camp while the sheriff returned home. But the following day, some interesting news spread through the town. I heard it's the biggest shipment of cash ever sent from here. Seth must be local. Doggone if I'd take the chance with that mass killer roaming loose. If that's stole, his bank will go bust. Hi, fellas! The stage is in! And they're getting ready to load the cash now. Come on and watch! Come on and watch! There. Heist her up on the seat beside the guard. Yeah, grab a hold. Up by that. Ah. Hey, Seth, ain't you taking chances with that outlaw loose? What are you going to do if that money's stole? It ain't going to be stole. Ask the sheriff here. The feller gets this cash is going to have to be good. I'm sending every blame deputy I got with him. Right. If the killer wants cash bad enough to tackle them, then he's welcome to try. Ready to go? Everything's all set. Into the saddle, boys. And anybody tries to hold you up. Shoot to kill. Them's orders. Sure, sure. All right, start that stage rolling. On your way, fellas. Get going. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. There she goes. And she'd better get through. If you'd given me that kind of protection, Sheriff, I wouldn't have been robbed. Sheriff, yeah, you're sending up guards along to hold off a gang. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? What is it, Sheriff? <laughs> Come inside the office. I can't deal you out here. Come along, Sheriff. <laughs> You ain't going to tell him, are you, Sheriff? Sure, why not? Uh, close the door tight, will you? Yeah. Now, look here, now, Sheriff. Now, Seth, I... take it easy. Frank lost 3000 to the killer, and Pope got shot up. 
They sure ain't going to do any talking they shouldn't. But I think... What do you mean? (laughs) It's a good one. Hmm? (laughs) It's a scheme that gets funnier the more I think of it. Oh, have a heart, Jim. Don't just stand there laughing to yourself. (laughs) Can't you tell us what it's all about? (laughs) You see the stage pull out? You see all them deputies riding the side of it? We was there. We seen them. (laughs) And you seen that cash box was put on the stage? Sure, but what's (laughs) it? Well, it was empty. Honest to gosh, fellas, it didn't hold a doggone dollar. Oh, <laughs> try talking sense for a change. That's just what I'm doing. <laughs> I tell you all the time, I was outside there, I was near to bust, and I wanted to laugh so hard. Are you going to tell us what this is about, or ain't you? Now, look here, fellas. I've been a lawman for a good many years, and I ain't spent them years wearing a badge without learning something. I wouldn't say that. No, you wouldn't, Seth. But it's so... Now, I ask you, if one of you fellas was that mass killer, what would you think when you seen that stage go out of here with them deputies? I don't get what you're driving at. Well, with all the talk there was in town and the fuss that was made over that cash box and the stage so close guarded, you'd figure Seth's cash was on the stage, wouldn't you? You mean it ain't? Told you that already. Well, then if Seth wasn't sending cash away, what was all the excitement for? Oh, he sent the cash all right. Well, you just now said that it... <laughs> That it didn't go by stage. Then how in thunder is it going? Now, wait a second. Now, uh, look out the window there and on down the road. What do you see? Hmm. Hmm, Only a couple of cowpokes leaning against a hitch rail. Nothing else? Well, there's old Wiggins leading that burro (laughs) here. Sure, that's what I meant. What'd he do, get somebody to grub stake him again? He making another one of them fool prospecting trips of his? (laughs) You'd think it to look at him, wouldn't you? Sure, but... Hey, you mean it? Just what you're beginning to guess. You, you doggone idiot. Oh, you're just joshing. Think so? But you're just the same as saying you're sending that cash by him. You couldn't be such a fool. You're thinking me a fool just goes to prove I'm right. Who's you right? The mask killer can't help but think that the stage is carrying the cash. Even if he's suspicioned it wasn't, the last fella he guessed to be packing it... Would be Wiggins. Just so. You've gone clean out of your head. Yeah? Well, when word gets back the cash arrived all safe and sound, maybe you'll agree the craziest hombres are sometimes the slickest. Just as dusk began to fall that evening... Oh, 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 Silver. Here we are, Tonto. We get here plenty early. It'll likely take that old fellow several hours more to get this far with that burrow of his. Ah. But I'd rather spend that time waiting here than risk being seen later by the man we're after. That's right. Perhaps we'd better get closer to the creek, Kimasabi. There's more cover over there. Ah. See those willows? Ah, uh, me see them. Silver and I will take our position there. You ride further on. You'll find plenty of trees all along the bank. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Wiggins had prospected so many years with such a uniform lack of success that he had become a public character taken seriously by no one. As he headed down the trail leading his reluctant and heavily laden burrow, those who passed him on the way gave him scarcely a second glance. One man, however, waited tensely for the old prospector's approach. A crude mask concealing his features, he was seated upon a horse whose hide was a curious shade of white. Horse and man were drawn back from the trail in the shadow of a huge oak. Come along, you dog, gone lazy, spamming, pesty. As old Wiggins drew near, the man spoke to his mount in a hoarse whisper. Come along, there. Come on, you blessed you. Get up. Get closer. Get up. Get up there. Break! Ah, that's a warning, reach for get drilled. Don't shoot. Don't shoot, please, mister. I ain't got nothing you want. I'm I... taking that burrow. Just keep reaching for the stars around. What does the law blast him? Get up. Get up there. Get up. He's ready for the trick. After the scum. After it. He's going that way.
The outlaw, racing from the posse, did not know that the Lone Ranger and Tonto were waiting for him near the banks of Wolf Creek. Get up! Get going, boys! Get going! Tonto, he's heading your way! Come on, Silver! Get back! Rope him, Tonto! Watch out there! Come on, Jeffrey! A good throw, Tonto! Hang on! Now, fix it! Now you don't now. take it! No! Oh, 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 oh. Take it into the creek. We'll show the sheriff how this fellow was getting away with these killings. Uh, come on, fella. Come on. The Lone Ranger's got him. He's caught the crook. He's got a rope on him. Hang on, mister. Where are you? Don't let him get me. Just bring me up. Give me a chance. Let me go. Please, let me You'll go. You'll get exactly the same chance you gave the men you killed. None at all. Uh, who, who is he? Tell the mask on Let's get a look at the skunk. Wait. Look did? over there at the creek first. Huh? Hey, it's Tonto. What's Tonto doing to that horse? Washing the clay from it. Huh? Clay? Every time this fellow here planned to hold up, he covered his horse with white clay. As soon as he finished, he rode into the creek, washed the clay off in a hurry, and rode out again with a horse that wouldn't be recognized as the killer's. Well, well I'll be... So that's why all the holdups except one took place near the creek. And the only one that didn't was right next to a whole tank full of water. Now look behind this man's mask. Oh, there. Oh, I oh, 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 oh. But I thought who got shot by the killer. It was a clever idea to take suspicion away from himself. He held up Frank Mason, rode to the creek and washed off the horse, and gave himself a flesh wound that amounted to nothing, and pretended he'd been shot by the killer making his escape. Well, can you beat that? His idea was clever, but nevertheless, it's what told me he was guilty. Uh, it couldn't. But it did. You had powder burns on your sleeve, Poke, although you said you were fired at from a distance. And there was no reason for your horse being soaked from head to hoofs if you just rode across the creek as you would claim. Why, you black... That'll be enough from you, you polecat. Take him along, fellas. But leave the rope on him. When we come to a handy tree, I think there's a way we can use it. No, 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 no. Come on, fellas. No, you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.